Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Good Morning Abuja on NTA 5, the Unity Station. We have a public affairs analyst in the house who will be talking to us about the Naira and economic matters arising. Okay, he is Hassan Saldana. Sir, you're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome you to so the program. <laughs> Madam Deborah, thank you for having me. You're welcome once thank again. You very much. Yes. You're welcome. <laughs> so we're looking at the dollars yeah. and let's add the traders. Mm. So, how is it? Uh, quite okay. Almost two days today. Mm -hmm. uh, Nera is uh, appreciating on dollar, mm -hmm. unlike what was happening for the past few weeks. Okay. And uh, for that gaining, at least we are coming back to a track mm -hmm. record that we know Nera should appreciate. Mm -hmm. And the most important part of it here is that uh, this presence government have tried to uh, as to, to make it publicly, everybody to be aware of, there is no black market and mm. official rate, yes. unlike the previous governments mm -hmm. that we know in the history. Mm. So for that reason, whatever is transpiring in the so-called black market, mm. it is Same not uh, it's nothing mm. to do with uh, the president's government. Mm. They are trying to make it, going. that is why they allowed it to flow in the market. Mm. And that is one of the reasons what raised the dollar mm. to where it has reached, mm. and now it is depreciating Depreciate. against Nera. Mm. So for that reason, our money is gaining momentum mm. now. Mm. So in, in the making, one will understand that we are taking a shape. Mm. We are putting our trading in that uh, side, that is in the Beru, uh, what is Beru the change, okay. uh, in, a, 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 in a way where Nera will be more stronger continuously mm -hmm. and continuously, which will going to give uh, Nigerians the real economic uh, uh, backbone mm -hmm. that can beat their chest mm -hmm. and compare themselves with other countries in the world. So, yes, this is good news. Mm -hmm. The way it's going now, mm -hmm. uh, Naira will surely come back to us and we'll all be we happy look forward uh, to for it. it. Thank you for that response. Now, let's talk about uh, the CBN uh, is said to have also cleared uh, backlog. How impactful is this? This is a very good news for each and everyone mm. in Nigeria. In fact, this has been one of the problems that we are having in some of the past governments. They don't want to do it because the, we are paying what we call subsidy in the dollars. Mm. People do not know this. So most of the times when we are talking about uh, trying to settle a backlog mm. in every site, this government is not doing it for the first time. In some even ministries, if you look at the passport issue mm -hmm. in the Ministry of Interior, almost 204,332 200, backlog of passport were put into order, mm -hmm. which they even promised that in a near future, Sedona and Deborah and you here mm -hmm. can ask for a, 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 a new and me yes, here, yes, Cynthia. Yes. Cynthia. Uh, so with <laughs> Cynthia, you can be at your home yes. and you can get, uh, what do we call it, your passport, your passport. without dredging into difficulties like before. Mm -hmm. So in this type of uh, backlogging, in Central Bank paying all these foreign forex uh, 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 backlogs, at least we have started becoming more independent. When people are talking about, yes, we are borrowing, like mm -hmm. just recently, there mm -hmm. is a case of about six point something billion dollars, 1,100 million pounds sterling mm -hmm. or euro to be borrowed by the mm -hmm. federal government. Is they are not borrowing to pay salary. Mm -hmm. They are not borrowing to buy cars. They are borrowing in order to uh, 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 put infrastructure mm -hmm. that can bring more gains mm -hmm. and the foreign investors will have more interest in coming to Nigeria to invest mm -hmm. in order Nigeria to set itself among or to start comparing themselves among the world developed uh, uh, grow, okay. fastest growing countries. Okay. This is the truth about the matter. Okay. So everybody I think is feeling more safer than what we thought of. Okay. So how can we sustain the gains? Yes, we will going to sustain the gain first. There is this problem we must have to avoid mm -hmm. and we must continue avoiding it. It is only in Nigeria that people compare their, uh, 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 the, the world they uh, 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 accumulate okay. with dollar. Ooh. It does not work in other countries. Yeah. You know, this but, patriotism, mm -hmm. I want us to even call this, go on a quick break and come back because mm -hmm. when we talk about uh, attitude, mm -hmm. well, let's go on this quick break. Okay. Uh, yes, we have been talking about um, the Naira and economic matters arising, and we are talking about being 
patriotic as a Nigerian. Now let's go on this quick break. When we come back, we'll continue the discussion. back and if you've just joined us we are still here talking about uh, the naira and economic matters yes before we went on that uh, break we we're talking about patriotism mm. very important yes no. it has to do with our attitude. attitude now let's talk about our attitude as nigerians in a way to strengthen this naira that we're talking about you know, sorry mm. i wanted to add something when you're talking about uh, comparing us you know, to other nations mm. that we have most things that they don't have mm. i wanted to say that uh, maybe because Nigerians, mm. we I don't want to use the word libertarist. Mm. We know <laughs> we know that we are better than a lot of other countries. Mm -hmm. But you know, there is this thing in a Nigerian. A true Nigerian will always want to go extra mile, want to have the best. We know we have what you're talking about, but mm. we there's this Oliver Twist mm. attitude in mm. us. Don't you think so? We okay. want more and more. It is not bad if you do it, uh, you are talking about being having an Oliver Twist attitude. Mm. But I, it has become part and parcel of us that now people have that mind. It is only in Nigeria that somebody will go a free education in the primary school, go to secondary school, attend the universities at the le uh, people of our age, or maybe uh, uh, there are some that have uh, uh, reached directorship or permanent secretaries and retired or ministers. Then there will be provincial coming to your uh, uh, media, uh, televisions and radio, and be attacking the federal government and whatever. Mm -hmm. This is a kind of the attitude that we are talking maybe about. They are talking about in those days we had it. Uh -huh. I had free education, uh -huh. but what's happening now? Uh, the, is no, that, free that is what we are talking about. The attitude is this. Okay, you take for example in FCT. The poly, public school in FCT are far better than any private school. You can take the last cobo you have to any bank. I will going to win. <laughs> take it to any last cobo. Yeah. Uh, any so bank. Uh, uh, yes. yeah, I will going to take your money. Because <laughs> the public school here have a good supervision. Mm -hmm. There is a focus on it. Being in a certain uh, 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 hope of government. Mm -hmm. So when you go to other states, like my state where I come from, Kano, you will imagine. Students are being taught in Hausa language, some of them. Mm -hmm. You go there, or the, so a, a student cannot start even speaking English. Maybe somebody at uh, a senior secondary school, one, SS1. So can you compare it with the schools of here? All the debates and whatever that are taking place in FCT, you will find out that private school doesn't win either a debate or a quiz. It's the public schools. That means okay. if we maintain this standard, yeah. Automatically, we have everything. Take example, uh, Kaduna State, where Mala Nasru Erufai, he have met a lot of people to cry in terms of education. But go and find out the standard of that education in uh, Kaduna State. In the northern Nigerian today, no any state can withstand Kaduna State in terms of education in public. So what we are talking about, our attitude mm. toward dollar and naira. Mm. Do you, could you imagine in only Nigeria, you find out that somebody went and do property, you know property now, yes. this is property something, mm. they sell a house that worth maybe 300 million, mm. here Cynthia have gotten 5 million, mm. you just rush to the bank and get, uh, uh, you deposit your 3 million, mm. then you took your three, 2 million to the, what do we call it, to the uh, period change, mm. that they should change it for $2 to dollars for you. When you go to your village, maybe you are from Binue or you are from Inugu, when they are taking uh, food or whatever in a restaurant or in a place, in the public or whatever, in your brothers or relatives, you will come and say, my money has finished. Uh, I have only dollar here. Uh, please, where are you going to change dollar for me, uh, Deborah? <laughs> but is it not in detriment of your economy? Because the do dollar that you is stuck, you went and collected in two, uh, with two, your two million. It has no any value on you. It, you are not using it for anything. Instead, you are just trying to make uh, notice me. You understand what I'm saying? Sure. It, so the attitude must be curtailed. We should stop that. It has been, we are still living uh, uh, on the past. So if we are living in the past, we cannot get what we are uh, getting. Now let's come back to the reaction that, uh, that is trailing about the uh, over two, two, two million trillion 
uh, yes, trillion, two trillion supplementary sorry, budget. Yes, supplementary budget. Mm. Uh, talk to us about that. It is not a new thing mm. in May, trying to have a supplementary budget. Mm. He is not the first person to uh, do what we call supplementary budget in mm. the history of Nigeria. Mm. Since we are very small, we knew this from our elder brothers, parents, and whatever. They have been talking until when we come to understand there is something they call supplementary, supplementary budget. budget. Let me tell you, okay. you are under National Television Authority, Minister mm. of uh, Information. Information. It might be possible by October, you will realize that Anything from October, you sometimes you realize that you don't have a salary because maybe during the uh, 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 through the uh, period of that month before October, you have recruited some staff, you have taken some people. Uh, that is uh, what do we call it? Unforeseen uh, incidents has happened with your budget. So it will going to be exhausted by October, for example. Then they will say, let us do a supplementary budget. So what is wrong in you doing the supplementary budget? You have uh, uh, recruited maybe 1,000 staff or 500 staff. Mm -hmm. So the budget you did, you have to pay them. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So coming out, you support, your budget is supposed to reach December. Because you cannot do a budget to extend uh, December. Whatever, it should be 12 months, mm -hmm. periodically. Okay. Am I right? Mm -hmm. So if it is finished by, what do we call it, by, uh, 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 October, you have to do supplementary budget. We have to be very fair to the uh, 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 government. The government are not the one. They have rejected it okay. because this is not what we need. Mm -hmm. In fact, I have seen one of their, uh, one of his uh, media assistants talking about it, trying to explain this issue in one of the medias in the nation. Mm -hmm. That no, it is not the president that have looked for it. Mm -hmm. When did the president come to even talk of uh, a presidential yacht? Mm -hmm. But what we are talking about is that let us if even we were going to talk about it, let it not be the time. The timing is very wrong. Mm -hmm. That is what caused the crisis of the mm -hmm. cashless policy mm -hmm. during the last administration. Mm -hmm. You can't be uh, 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 having election in uh, two or three months mm -hmm. and you are going for cashless policy. Why in any country in the world, there is no country that can go into election without money. And this money can be seen at anywhere. When you go to universities in U.S. and whatever, you see them with, uh, what do we call it, uh, uh, papers, what do they call it? They are manuscript of uh, manifestos. We are giving to students, taking them by to the street, your supporters, going to the houses. We saw Donald Trump sharing a food in the uh, in U.S. houses. So in this uh, situation, it has to be dealt with patient and understanding. Okay. And we are appealing to the federal government. Okay. Let them understand that we are in a trying time. Okay, let's do your final. <laughs> My final words is that we, I will repeat what we are saying. Mm. Uh, I have said Nigeria is the only country we have. Mm. Now you don't have anywhere to go. No and hide. Yes. Nigeria is better than many countries in the world. I have listened to a Ukrainian woman calling that no any country is better than Nigeria in the whole Europe. Wow. She came, she married to an Igbo man and yeah. she came to Nigeria and spent six, uh, more, uh, six months. Then she is now preparing to come back to Nigeria at fullest that Nigeria is the only country that once can come and live. Yeah. I felt it. So let Nigeria put head together, put hands on this yeah. and yeah. grow Nigeria. Yeah. Let Nigeria move. Let our system, our institution has a lot of problems for a lot of decades. So let us come back to life and join hands. Times of governance is now. The political or period of uh, uh, campaigning has passed. Yeah, yeah. So let's put our hands together hands on deck. Deck yes. to ensure that to ensure Nigeria that works. Our economy works. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, you, so much. thank, thank you for, for having me. This uh, wonderful information. <laughs> I'm so passionate about uh, all this. We are not taking to anything uh, yes. away. We should take away the fact that we need to be Yes, we need and to be. All hands need to be on deck. Mm. And I'm going to add that we should stop bad mouthing our country. We have no other place to go to. Yes. Nigeria is our place. Like I called, there was somebody who was saying, my beloved. The person personalized say, my, my beloved Niger. Niger. Yes, I call Nigeria my beloved. My beloved Niger. Niger is our beloved country. Our beloved country. And we'll make sure we put heads together Thank to make so our country work. Thank, Thank you so much for having me. For your time with yes. us Thank on you. the program this morning. <laughs> Thank you very yes, much. Yes, we have been talking with Hassan Sadi, Minister of Education, Education Minister of Education, 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 we should make sure we put our heads together and ensure that our nation work, our beloved nation Nigeria work. Now we're going to go on this quick break. When we come back, the program continues. Stay with us.